Back to me for this question. Good luck, everyone. Ringo Starr auctioned his copy of the Beatles' White Album for charity in 2015. Apart from it being in his possession, there was a clear way to prove that it was his personal copy of the album. How? One more time. Ringo Starr auctioned his copy of the Beatles' White Album for charity in 2015. Apart from it being in his possession, there was a clear way to prove that it was his personal copy of the album. How? Okay. I know nothing about the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> Did he write his name on it? Did he label his items like my mum always recommended I do? <laughs> that I mean, he could have done that to end. Like he could have bought a copy of the White Album from someone else, shoved a signature on it, gone, yeah, yeah. That's, I'm not, sorry, I nearly tried to do a Ringo Starr impression there, and I got as far as yeah, yeah. And I'm just not going to try beyond that. Uh, and just said, yeah, absolutely, my copy. Look, it's got my signature on it. There's there's mm. something else about that. Is there something about record pressings that like make it obvious which one's a ma like an original one versus like a future pass? Like maybe there was like a specific error. Yeah, I imagine I it's on vinyl. Yes, it is. It is on vinyl. So if it's vinyl, mm -hmm. each pressing can potentially be using a different uh, material, which means like the pressings can be different colors. Um, if he had a test press, sometimes those have a different label. So it could have been like one of the only test presses, um, or so it what it was one of the sort of early samples, so okay. not for resale, but there were hundreds of those. This is particularly valuable because it was very clearly Ringo's. Hmm. He'd smashed it with a drumstick. It was broken. It was just impaled. <laughs> that, he's the drummer, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. is he the drummer? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I forget that we have we have three people here who are just into the generation where the Beatles are starting to become yeah. less relevant. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for this because I'm British. <laughs> so, you know. Melissa, what do you think? I'm trying to think, like, was there some, was there publicly known, like, quirks that he had that he would, like, put on? I mean, Ringo does have a lot of publicly known quirks, but... Uh, I just don't know them. Is he the only surviving Beatle? No, Paul McCartney's still alive, bro. I don't know the Beatles. <laughs> We're going to get complaints about this one. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. Is Did he, like, get... No, no, because it can't be special, because it was... Oh, hmm. Hmm. Much to think about. What things can you do to a vinyl album... That makes it uniquely yours. You could play it. Was it pl was certain songs played a lot so that like the grooves had like changed slightly? Because that happens. Not in this case, but yes, you you can wear out a vinyl. I think, but this is this is not what happened here. Hmm. I uh, it, I think it could have been still factory sealed here. I don't know if it was, but ah. that it, it could have been for this to to work. He took a selfie with it. He said, this is mine. I haven't played it before. It's fully sealed, but it's mine. And somehow the selfie is from 1974. Just when he, yep. uh, <laughs> I think the Beatles had broken up by 74. Never mind. He made an NFT out of it. <laughs> he made an NFT. Um, he had the receipt. He sold it with the receipt. From HMV. <laughs> HMV? Oh, sorry, you don't know the Beatles, but you know HMV? <laughs> I know the. I knew Paul McCartney was still alive. I just don't know anything else. Is he related to the the woman that makes the vegetarian sausages? That's what? Paul McCartney, who, who was once married to Linda McCartney, who made the vegetarian sausages. I really? Think, that's I think that's amazing. Right. The real I hope celebrity that's true. Taha cares wow. for. That's who I care about. Uh, no, R Ringo Starr is uh, famous as the drummer in the Beatles and uh, the British narrator for Thomas the Tank Engine. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's, yeah, I didn't know that either. That I mean, wasn't I didn't a clue. Star Wars, Just but... to be clear, that okay. was not oh. a clue. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Well, I, was I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be like, I know that there is this novelty vinyl player, like record player, which is a little, ta like, train with a... With a with a uh, like, and you just put it on the vinyl in it, and it spins around and it plays music. So I was thinking something to do with that, but no. Uh, <laughs> Beatles fans are going to be shouting this one immediately because it turns out there is a feature on the cover of the White Album that makes this right. easy. 
Yeah, just to be clear, like the White Album, it, the, the cover is just white with the Beatles on it. It's it's just known as the White Album because that's the, okay. the most distinguishing feature. Did he like spill tea on it so it wasn't like quite white? It was like tea coloured. That could still be anyone's tea. <laughs> nah, that's true. <laughs> so l- just to get things clear, this everything about the album was, at, at least at the moment that he first received it, was indistinguishable from like other copies sold. It, mm, indistinguishable is not the right word there. Yeah, um, so distinguishable. Uh, I mean, obviously distinguishable, that's how they know it's... Ringo yeah, like it could have been like something that happened after the fact. It had the it, same features as all the other copies of the White Album. When it was created. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You keep saying features. And in my head, that has when you say music, music and yeah, when you say music and oh, features. No, I, no, that's that's not. OK, great. Oh. Uh, characteristics. <laughs> I thought that he just had a version of the album where yeah, it's just like, him playing the drums. Nobody else. <laughs> Just isolated yeah. all the drum tracks. Like, this is Ringo's white album. This is the one that matters. Yeah, okay. So when it came off the presses, it's the same thing. It's put in the sleeve. Was the sleeve different? The same thing is done to all the copies of the white album. All the vinyl really? ones. It was numbered. It was his number. Four, yeah. four or five, whatever Beatle he was. Uh, now, yeah, it's interesting you pick him as number four or five there uh, for two reasons. One, he is usually last in the list. Uh, and two, there are only four Beatles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number you've, five, then. <laughs> you've, you've number basically, one. Number one. You've got it there. Yeah. He has album copy number one. Oh, and wow. all the copies of the White Album, it was uh, designed by pop artist Richard Hamilton. And it was his idea as a joke. They are all limited edition. Millions and millions of copies of this album were originally stamped and numbered. Uh, Later on, they just kind of printed text, but they all have an increasing number of how many copies have been sold. And Ringo has number one. I love that. That's awesome. It's like a physical version of views. You know what I mean? It really is. Like this album has 10 10 million views. And it's like, great. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I I don't know how they coordinated all the pressings to make sure. You you did take something that I was like quite happy with, which was like the <laughs> idea of numbers and like limited pressings and labeling your prints, and then you turned it into the worst thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, Ringo Starr nice. was able to prove that his copy of the White Album was his because he has stamped copy number one. <laughs> <laughs> 